So the Target K-Flex are probably one of the most popular flights on the market right now. The only problem is there's a lot of supply and demand issues. So what I've done is bought six other all-in-one flight and shaft systems. This is the ultimate all-in-one flight and shaft system review. So before we start, I'd like to say I've bought six out of the seven of these all-in-one flight and shaft systems. The only ones I didn't purchase, which uh, came out probably the most recently actually, is the Mission uh, Force 90, which I was lucky enough for Mission to send me. So yeah, what we're going to do is take all of these seven flight and shaft systems, view them one by one, and then I'm going to give you some of the details in terms of their rigidity, in terms of the flexibility of the shaft, in terms of how much they cost, and then I'm going to show you them on the board. And we're just going to do an overall comparison and see how they go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take you through all of the different flights and shaft systems and give them ratings. So we're going to start off with the one I know best, which is the Condor Axe. So it's the original system. I think it's probably the one that all of the other systems are trying to aspire to be, uh, if I'm going to be honest. I would give the rigidity of the shaft a 4. I would give the rigidity of the flights a 4. It's available in lots of different colours, um, loads and loads and loads of different colours. Um, it's also available in three different uh, flight sizes, sorry, so you have a standard, a small standard, and also a slim, and also available in three different shaft lengths. The standard versions which I have, so uh, this style of Condor, um, also the Condor Axe uh, Neon, um, they retail for $11.95. If you want one with designs um, or player versions of flights, they'll go upwards up to 1495 um, so a little bit more on the expensive side but i do think it is worth it because these flights and shafts are very very good the originals they've been tried and tested for a few years now and um yeah i think the amount of variations you can get from them is very good as well okay so somehow i've actually lost the white ones that i put in the close-ups so i've got the red version of the condors um, i've actually got loads of different versions of the condors uh funnily enough um so yeah the condors are probably the original you know popular all-in-one flight and stem system they've become really popular sort of just after lockdown i think it was um dave chisnell started using them simon whitlock started using them um they're also used by other players like jose de souza um devon peterson and i think what happened was they just became really really popular and they went out of stock everywhere for probably a month or so um they used to be £10.50, went up to £11.95. Um, but I think in terms of you know being the original, the tried and tested version, you really can't go wrong with these. But yeah, I think for £11.95 for your normal versions is really good value. Um, for you know £12.95, £13.95, £14.95 for your you know designed versions, and there are some really cool designs. Um, I think they're really good value as well. But yeah, I think the Condors are really, really solid. The deflections you get aren't too bad, similar to the K-Flex. You'll get really bad ones, you'll get really good ones, you'll get ones where you know, you're in the 5 and you hit one and it skews into the 20. Um, you'll get one where it's in the 20 and it will skew into the 5. Um, it's just the way these flights and stems work. They fly pretty true to your flat, standard flight and stem system. Um, to be honest, in terms of the product itself, I don't see all too much wrong with the Condors. I think the only thing is is that it's slightly more expensive than the K-Flex, but it probably is worth that extra, you know, £3 odd to try out a set. So obviously there are preferences, but I think they are very, very similar. And yeah, that is it for all of the flights being thrown. Next we have probably the most popular all-in-one flight and shaft system on the market at the moment it is the Target K-Flex. Unfortunately at the time of recording it is only available in one size which is a small standard number six shape. You can tell this because of the uh, narrower, uh, the narrowing of the side of the flight. If I compare that to the Condor, as you can see the Condor is just sort of straight whereas the K-Flex tucks in slightly so that is how you can tell the difference and um, they will be coming out of a number two shape um, later on this month probably in a couple of weeks um, it comes in six different color variations so a little bit of variations on the colors just unfortunately not on the flights three different lengths of shafts obviously the standard lengths you'd normally find i'd give the shaft rigidity a 
probably a one and a half to a two out of um, five. It's really, really flexible, as you can see, hence the name Target K-Flex. Um, I'd give the, shark, uh, the flight, sorry, probably a rigidity of four out of five. They're very similar to the Condor Axe in terms of the flights, but the shaft is the thing that probably gives it a little bit of a difference compared to the Condor. These retail for £8.50, they were retailing for £6.50, um, they've bumped the price up by £2 recently just because of supply and demand issues, they've pretty much been sold out everywhere on and off for like the last couple of weeks, and due to the popularity of them uh, they are sometimes a bit difficult to get hold of, hopefully Target can resolve these issues though. Okay so the next system is the K-Flex, most popular system on the market at the moment, very difficult to get hold of at times, um, let's see how they fly. First one's in the triple 20, second one's in the triple 20, third one's just below. Not a bad visit, they're sitting quite flat, but um, I think that might be because of um, the length of them and also the slightly smaller standard flight. Um, obviously I normally use a normal standard. So they do have that relatively flat angle of entry. Um, whether that would happen with a shorter version, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think the unique selling point of the K-Flex is, is the fact that how flexible they are in the stem. Um, that stem will have that little bit of give which may aid deflections. I mean there was one there and it sort of bounced a little bit, ended up in the treble 5 but you know if that first start was slightly further over in the treble 20 then it might have been okay. I think for the price of these, again, I think they're pretty good value for money, to be honest. They're very similar to the Condors, but for about, you know, three pounds less. Um, the only issue is with these is, you know, supply and demand issues at the moment. And also the fact that at the time of recording, they're only available in the one flight size. Although there will be another one coming out in a couple of weeks. But yeah, they fly really true to normal. Um, obviously they do sit a bit flat for me, but I think with a standard stem, I think they'd fly pretty similar to a normal flight and stem setup. Um, the deflections seem pretty, you know, normal for this type of system of this sort of rigidity. Um, yeah, overall, I think really solid. The K-Flex have really impressed me, to be honest. I wasn't initially a fan, but since comparing them to the other systems, really, really big fan of these, so yeah. I'll get over my sort of overall review at the end, but um, we'll move on to the next system and I'll let you know what I think of these towards the end of the video. Next we have the Bulls Union Flights. These are available in three different shaft lengths and only the one uh, flight size, which is a standard, although the standard flight seems a little bit shorter. Um, if I compare it again to the Condor Axe, which is a standard flight, you can see the flight is ever so slightly smaller. The material feels kind of a bit cheap, to be honest. Um, it feels heavy, it feels a little bit cheap. The rigidity of the flight is purely there because of how thick the flights are. I'd say they're relatively flexible, but because of how thick they are, um, they just have that sort of bit of rigidity to them. So I'd probably give them a two and a half to a three out of five. The shaft, again, pretty flexible, although not as flexible as the K-Flex. So I'd probably give that a three out of five as well. Uh, this flight and shaft system doesn't have the grooves in it like the others do as you can kind of see there there's no grooves in this one um, so unfortunately not a lot going for it in that aspect they're also available in only black white and clear so again the bulls doesn't have much going for it in terms of variation these do retail for £5.95 which is the cheapest on the market but for me personally I just think it feels a little bit cheap even considering the price tag um, there is another flight and shaft system which I think is a lot better than this at the same price and we'll get on to that in a moment. Okay, so we've got the Bulls Union flights now. Um, I'm going to say straight away, I'm not a fan of these. Um, I've used, I literally reviewed them for a TikTok video. And, um, yeah, really didn't like them. Now, the flight path is a bit all over the place. I think that's because of the shape of the flight. It's sort of like a stumpier version of a standard. Um, the material feels really cheap. Uh, which makes sense because they are £5.95, but also the mission of £5.95, and they feel you know, far superior to these. These almost feel like they've been 
you know, bought from a third party from a, from an OEM. So it feels like, you know, you could probably get these off like Alibaba or, you know, uh, whatever other, you know, Timu and stuff like that. And it just feels like Bulls have like bought them and stuck their logo on them. Uh, so yeah, I'm really not a fan of these. Um, the material is relatively cheap. As you saw in the close-ups, I've already dinged them a little bit from throwing them for about five minutes. Um, in terms of your entry level flight and stem system, these are just really not that good. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about them really, I'm just really not a fan at all. Um, I'd probably avoid these like the plague to be honest. Next is one of the more expensive options again, this is the Shot Flight Deck. These are probably the best looking ones in my opinion out of the lot. Um, unfortunately they only come in the three colour variations which are clear which I have, uh, white and black. They have a carbon rod through the middle so if I was just to take the stem off which is sometimes a little bit difficult because it does spin. It's almost like Shot want you to try them out and then never get them off your darts again. There we go, finally got hold of it. As you can see it's slightly different. There is a bit of a gap there as you can see actually. Just there, there's a bit of a gap where the carbon rod does come out. Um, so there may be a bit of a risk there of it snapping or breaking potentially. Because of the carbon rod, well actually there, there you go, look. I'm just moving it slightly and it's sort of starting to come out. So not the best in terms of build quality there. Um, the actual shaft itself isn't actually that flexible, but um, it does move because of the base coming out. The flights are really, really soft. I think they're probably one of the closest feelings to a regular standard flight and shaft. They're also reinforced at the top and bottom, which is kind of cool. These retail for £11.95, I think, for the amount of variation you get from them. For £11.95, you can buy a set of Condors, um, which I would probably prefer over these. But if you're a fan of a softer flight system, um, want probably less deflections, to be honest, this might be the system for you. But yeah, I'd give the flight rigidity probably a 1 out of 5 to be honest and I'd give the shaft rigidity probably a 5 out of 5 if it wasn't for you know the shaft coming away at the base um, it is a shame really because it does look like a really good system okay so next up we have the shot flight deck one thing I didn't mention in their little intro bit is they have this like nib at the top um, which is quite thick despite the flights being quite thin and not very um, rigid um, but we'll see how they go landing quite flat obviously these and the Q-soles are the ones with the two least rigid flights they also feature uh, a carbon rod through the middle oh that was a nice hit there and it didn't really deflect too much so that shows that the lack of rigidity in the flights does have some benefit now there is actually there's another deflection. A bit of a misconception in terms of how big your deflections are because for me using the Condors, I get a lot heavier deflections and a lot more frequent deflections with those that sometimes land, land in the treble 20, whereas something like this with a least rigid flight, sometimes you'll hit the flight and just bypass it, whereas sometimes you hit the outside of the flight and it'll actually still come down with something like the Condors which have a thicker flight or like the Windmill Fusions or the K-Flexes. So there's another little deflection there. I think these deflect really nicely, really similar to an actual standard flight and stem system. Um, I probably wouldn't put them above the Q-soles, I think, considering the Q-soles have a cheaper option as well, which work out cheaper than these. Um, I'd probably go for those cheaper versions of the Q-soles over these, and I'd probably actually invest the extra five pounds and get the more expensive versions as well. Um, there's just something about these that I'm not quite a fan of and I think it might be that sort of nib at the top and also the fact that the the carbon rod isn't as well fused to the stem as the Q-soles. They do fly quite nicely though. 
pretty true, uh, pretty true to standard flight path. Um, something which I struggled with with the fusions, obviously, because they were kicking to the side a lot, whereas these are going in relatively straight. So with that, we're going to move on to the next system. Next up, we have the Q sole. These, again, are a solid 5 out of 5 for shaft rigidity. They do not move at all. Again, they have a carbon rod through the middle. Um, these are the big wing versions, although the flight is actually quite small, probably similar to that of the Target K-Flex, as you can see. The Q-Sole, very similar to the Condor, um, come out in a load of different colours. Um, unfortunately, there's not really any designs. I don't know if that's because of the way these are made, um, because they are quite thin and there's a slightly different material. Um, obviously, you can get all the different colours. Um, there's different mix and match colours as well you can get. Obviously, also, there's versions of the carbon version and the cheaper non-carbon version. They're available in six different stem, stem lengths, so you sort of go from an extra short to an extra long and everything in between. They're also available in two different flight sizes, which is the big wing, which is what these are, and also the small standard. So in terms of variation, I think these are powering on with the Condor in terms of having lots and lots of variation. Definitely a 5 out of 5. The flights are quite soft, probably softer than the shot um, flight deck actually. I'd give the flight rigidity again a 1 out of 5, um, and I'd give the shaft rigidity a 5 out of 5. These are the most expensive out of all of these flight stem systems I'm comparing. They retail for £16.95, which is, you know, a fiver more than the Condors, so quite expensive. Um, they do actually have a cheaper version, which doesn't have the carbon rod in the middle, and that retails for £9.45. So perhaps it might be worth trying those. I believe the flights on the top of them, from what I've been told, is exactly the same. The only difference is literally that carbon rod through the middle. So if you're not one who's prone to breaking stems, perhaps you should go for the cheaper version. Overall, again, I think if you're looking to switch to something that is an all-in-one system with a little bit more flex in the flights, these are probably a really good choice for you. So, I'm going to start off with the q -soles. Oh, treble 20 first start, take that. 85. First one went a bit flat, but the other two quite nice. Eighty one. What I'm gonna try and do is if I get relatively near the twenty that is, um, I'm gonna try and aim for the flight. Try and get a bit of a deflection. Okay, so that was relatively smooth. Sounded soft, didn't deflect off course too much. So the flight path is pretty true. Oh, I skewed that one. The flight path is pretty true to um, my normal system, the normal flight and shaft system. So that backs up my thoughts that this thinner flight will support that. Um, they're standing up nicely, even for a slightly longer flight. Um, sometimes with a, thick, uh, with a thicker flight, they do sit down a little bit. They sound nice and soft on the deflections. I think one of the things some people have an issue with, with all-in-one systems, is that when they deflect, um, they sound funny. Um, and these don't really have that. Yeah, overall, I think these are actually really, really good. For sixteen ninety five, I think they are going to be a bit more premium, and I think you do get that. The only thing I'm worried about is if the longevity of the flight is any good. Now, that was actually a really nice deflection. Um, really solid, it sounded nice and soft, really nice level to it. Pretty solid, that system. We're going to move on to the next one. We have two more systems left to go. Next is the Winmore Fusion. I actually really like the look of these. They have a slightly narrower shaft, and as you get the longer versions, uh, obviously it does that narrow section does actually sort of lengthen out a bit. Because of this, they do actually have a bit of flex in the stem. I'd probably give the stem flexibility a three out of five. The flights are very, very rigid. They're probably the most rigid out of all of the systems. I'd give them a five out of five, definitely. Um, 
yeah, really, really solid feeling flights. Whether that causes more deflections, that remains to be seen. The Wimble Fusion has three different shaft lengths, uh, just the one flight size at the moment, and also comes in uh, five different colours, I believe, or six different colours. Um, so a pretty good variation on the colours, just unfortunately not on the flight sizes. Again, similar to probably the K-Flex in terms of its variation. Whether Wimmore are going to be coming out with a different shape uh, or not soon is, remains to be seen. Obviously, we know the K-Flex is coming out in a different shape. Um, maybe we'll see a different flight size in the future. But yeah, in terms of variation, again, for Wimmore, I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5. These are actually quite cheap. They retail for £6.90. Um, they haven't had the same supply and demand issues that Target have had, purely because I think because the K-Flex is used by Luke Littler, a lot of people want to use them, whereas these aren't really used by many professionals. Um, I have seen a few of these break, but for me personally, they've been okay so far. I've thrown them for sort of 10, 15 minutes, not had any nicks out the top or anything. So, so far, so good. We are going to get them on the board again and test them out. But yeah, for £6.90, I think they're a pretty good value for money product. If you're looking to get into maybe Condors, but you don't quite have the money, or you just want to try something a bit cheaper, I definitely think this and our next system are probably the two ways to go. So yeah, the Windmill Fusion, pretty solid. Um, for me, I'd probably recommend them if you're just going to get into flight and shaft systems and you want something with a bit more of a solid flight. So the next system I'm trying is the Windmore Fusion. Um, I've actually already given these a little bit of a throw just because I actually really like the look of them, so um, I just couldn't resist throwing them. So I'm going to give them a throw again now and I'm going to give you my first thought. Now, as I said, these were probably the most rigid flight out of the lot. A steady 60 to start. Uh, yeah, the most rigid flight out of the lot, but they also had that little bit of flex in the stem. Now, for me, even though they're going straight, as you can see, they're just sort of kicking over slightly to the left um, in terms of their angle of entry. And I think that's because of uh, the slightly narrower stem. I think it's just giving that a little bit less stability um, in comparison to a normal sort of shaped, you know, I would say parallel, but they do taper to a normal tapered stem. So they do take a little bit of getting used to. Obviously the sound of them is quite clacky, I'd call it. Very similar to that of the Condor. Um, they're still entering in a little bit funny angles. Um, I think in terms of the actual flight path itself, they feel relatively true. It is just that instability of the thinner stems, which is obviously, obviously increased even more when you have the longer shafts. Um, I think one of the main things with these rigid systems, these, the Condors and the K-Flexes, is when you catch them at the top, because they're so rigid, there's not a lot of sort of flex to get out of the way so you will ding them up quite quickly um, but from my experience with the condors um, they sort of get to a certain point where they don't really get damaged anymore like they'll look like they damage really quickly but then they get to a point where they just don't don't damage much more a nice little one two one but yeah, another little deflection there, not a really huge one. Yeah, again, I think these perform really similar to the Condors. Um, if you've used them before, obviously I'm about to throw them, but um, I've used the Condors before. I think they throw really similar. Um, remains to be seen the durability, as I've said. These are sort of almost half the price of the Condors, but um, I have seen a few people break them, so that remains to be seen. Next up, and finally, we have the Mission Force 90. Now, obviously, I've left this to the end because I have done a separate review of these. You can find that on my channel. Uh, that came out last week. I was actually sent these by mission, so I'm going to try and not be too biased. Um, the stem, again, really solid. On par of that with the Q-Sol, which has a carbon rod, whereas we, these do not. So, um, yeah, quite surprising how solid this is compared to the Q-Sol. Flight rigidity, I'd say it's very similar to the K-Flex and the Condor, so probably a 4 out of 5 in that aspect. Um, the flight is actually a slightly different shape, as you can see this top bit here from where the peak of the dart starts to where it ends is quite sort of elongated, it almost looks like an upside down standard shaft. If I compare it to the Windmore Fusion, 
as you can see it's a little bit more diamond shaped um, a bit more balanced on either side now i don't know if that really affects the flight as much as i think but for me when i use them for my review um, the darts were sitting down pretty flat so that might be something to do with that these come in three different colours, which is clear, white and black. They come in three different shaft lengths. The main thing for these is from launch, they've come out with three different sizes. So this is the standard. You can also get a small standard and you can also get a slim as well. These retail for $5.95. So again, on par with the Bulls Union. I think these are so much better in quality compared to those. Um, Mission generally do have cheaper products. That doesn't mean they're lower in quality, but it also does mean sometimes you do miss out on some things. As you can see, uh, something I didn't actually point out in my review, but it does have like a little ridge at the top where the shaft and the flight have probably been moulded together. Um, so that does show, you know, perhaps that slight lack in quality which you're going to get, but you do save a bit of money and they are quite similar to the K-Flex and the Condors. So yeah, remains to be seen how durable they are, but I think for the price, pretty solid if you're looking to get into an all-in-one flight and shaft system. Okay, so next up is the mission force 90s um, i've actually done a full review of these on my channel so one thing i found with these and i didn't actually mention it in the video is they do feel a bit back heavy um and i'm not sure why that is they're just something about how i hold them they just feel really heavy um i might have to weigh these and compare them to another short system that i have There's just something about them which makes me feel like when I pull the dart through as I get to sort of like, you know, my point of, of coming forwards with my hand, I just feel like they're a bit heavier. And I don't know if that's because of the elongated flight as well. I'm not 100% sure. They do fly relatively straight. They don't kick at funny angles. The only issue I have is they sit a bit flat and they just sort of dip at the end of the flight. They sort of go through the air and then they just sort of, as they come to tail off, they dip. They sort of have that sort of motion. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. Um, in terms of their deflections, they're not that bad. I think they're very similar again to your more solid systems like the K-Flex, the Condors and the Windmore Fusion. Um, for their price, oh, there's a nice little bounce out of that. For their price, I think you're probably better off going with the Windmore Fusion over these, but I think that is just personal preference. Um, I think the issue I've got with both of those flights is there's something with them that just doesn't quite make them fly right for me personally. Um, so that is a bit of a shame, but yeah, they're not a bad system for their price. I mean, we're going to look at the Bulls Union in a moment, and I think they're you know far less as good in quality for the same price. But yeah, the Mission Force 90, not too bad. Good value for money, but I think the more is better. So that is it for the video. Um, I've got all the flights and shaft systems here alongside me. So for me personally, there's one I would say to really, really avoid, and that is the Bulls flight uh, system, which is called the Union. Um, for me, it just feels cheap. Um, even for $5.95, which is the cheapest on the market, it does just feel cheap. The shaft is quite flexible, um, which some people might like. Um, the flights feel like they're made out of really cheap plastic um, and in fact one of them I have um, has you know barely after any use of play has already got like a little dent in it um, and I think that's just because of how soft the material is I think if you hit it with an oncoming dart it's just going to chip away so yeah for me personally for even for 595 which is the cheapest I would avoid the Bulls Union system uh, sorry Bulls for that in terms of the best value for money system, for me personally, it's between two. It's between the Target K-Flex, which you might think, how is that the best value for money when it's £8.50? But for me personally, I think this is actually one of the better flights and shaft systems anyway. So considering it's, you know, the fourth most expensive on this list of seven, um, there's three that are more expensive than it. I think it probably does give it a really good value for money. 
The other system I really like is actually the Windmore Fusions. I think they're very similar to the Condor Axe, but just, you know, basically half the price. Um, so yeah, I'd say these two are probably the best value for money if you want to get into flight and shaft systems. These two are probably your best bet. Also, they're probably available on a lot of retailers' websites as well. So yeah, you're going to find these the easiest. If you prefer a flight and shaft system which has a softer flight and stem combo, I would personally recommend the Q-Soul. Now, obviously, there are two that have kind of softer flights, as I said before. This is the Q-Soul and also the Shot. Um, the Q-Soul is a little bit less rigid, um, but for me personally, you're paying the premium on the carbon rod in the middle. I just think these are just, you know, better in terms of quality. The Shot system, I don't really like the material of it. Some people might like it, but for me personally, don't really like it. Um, also, the shaft system spins as well, which I don't really like either. Um, the Q-Soul system is probably the most natural feeling, as you can see from my darts, wherever I put them. Can't find them. On my darts, I actually use a standard flight and stem system. I don't use an all-in-one, and uh, I think these actually give the best and most similar feel to that. So if you're someone who maybe wants to convert from a regular flight and stem system but don't want to go too far into the way of having a really rigid flight, I think the Q-Soul is your best but is your best option, even though it is the most expensive. So the two systems I would personally recommend, I do have two. Um, this is, one I haven't mentioned yet, and the other one I have, is the Target K-Flex and the Condor Axe. Now, why would I recommend these two systems? Um, the Target K-Flex at the moment only comes in a number six, which is a bit of a disappointment, but they are coming out very, very soon with a new uh, number two shape, and hopefully some new colours as well later on this year, and some patterns. Um, but yeah, I think in terms of value for money plus quality, I think K-Flex is the best bet. If you want to pay that bit extra and have a little bit more of a premium barrel, um, and maybe something a little bit more rigid as well, um, I would go with Condor. I think the build quality is great. It's got a really good amount of variations. You've got the metallic versions, you've got the Axe Neons, um, you've got the standard white ones, you've got ones with patterns on them. Um, they come in an absolute amazing range. Um, so I think the Condor for that aspect is also really, really good. So yeah. My two personal recommendations would be the Target K-Flex and the Condor Axe. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below which flight and shaft system you enjoy using the most, or if you've ever used them, if you've tried them out. Have you not tried them out, and why haven't you tried them out? I'd really like to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. It helps push this video to more people who aren't subscribed to my channel. And if you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe for more darts content. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.